right, hello again everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Broken Lords Podcast. A very special episode today, wherein my good boy, Octomer, a.k.a. Snidely. No, Octomer, I'm sorry, yeah. I fucking I'm cold. Sub, you gotta throw it out. <laughs> Keep it in. Cole's name is forgettable, Octomer is memorable, you gotta throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> Now you gotta keep it in. <laughs> you must keep it in now, kind of. It's but a very is... memorable episode today because our good buddy Cole, aka Snidely Motherfucking Whiplash, has been kidnapped by fish people, and I cannot 100% promise that it is not for breeding purposes. Hello, Editor Zoob here. I know my voice sounds pretty jarring considering the context of this episode. However, I needed to clarify something. Due to the fact that the last three minutes of the previous episode were cut out, what I'm doing is I'm creating a little flashback scenario so that you may see the context in which Corey is speaking about. Anyways, here it is. Sorry about that, and enjoy. I'll take middle. Take first. We'll leave our nighttime safety in the hands of the dancing barbarian. <laughs> well, you want the dancing? Oh, you should. Oh, long time listeners know the Lord. <laughs> long time <laughs> listeners know the Lord. <laughs> we dance the dance of death. Could hold call twinkle toes. Yeah, I want to run observation checks on the watches. Who's going? Who? Ricardo's going first. Octomer. Uh, Octomer. Ricardo. First. Call. Gotcha. Four successes. That's two crits. Wow. Yeah, wow. look at that. Quattro, the big Quattro. Well, okay. Wow, wow, it's wow. all hands on deck. We're camping with a werewolf. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's facts. That's facts. <laughs> Do you think four successes is enough to notice Nala turning into a werewolf? I think one would probably no. be enough to notice Nala turning into a werewolf. But honestly, at this point, I'll take the four. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Throw some momentum in that pool. Hell yeah. Three, one, how much momentum? <laughs> We're going to call that two momentum. Noted. So that's the first watch. And Octomer, everything seems pretty chill. You can hear noises far in the distance. There are a lot of wet, watery noises, but that could be anything because the entire swamp is south of you. Okay. Amazingly keen ears, you can hear watery noises across a vast distance. My elf ears are on full alert. Wait. It's Ricardo's turn. Let's see if Ricardo right. can roll well enough to notice Nala turning into a werewolf. We're spending a momentum because Ricardo was a coward. I mean, someone's gotta, because we know Colleen. I'd like to go on record that I'm sleeping through this. All right, all right, all right. But ciao. One success. Nice. Yeah. All right. Octomer noticed nothing. Ricardo noticed nothing. Seems to be a pretty quiet night. That's good. Every so often, Ricardo's casting an eye up at the moon to see those things flying about, but none of them seem to be going terribly far away from the looming building in the distance. Now it's time for Twinkle Toes who spends a fortune point to start yeah. things off. There it is. <laughs> that's I'm funny. dancing, Dad. I'm dancing. Gotta get one oh up. My God. So that's six successes. Oh, my God. Wow. Jesus Christ. That's what we call overkill, my son. About <laughs> time he took his watch seriously. <laughs> I usually do. All it took was sleeping with a werewolf for him to actually pay attention. I usually <laughs> do take my watch seriously. Motherfucker, you crit failed more watches than I can count. <laughs> I've only crit failed one. We've got a running joke about counting. you singing and dancing during your watches, for God's sakes. There's really good news about those six successes. Excellent. Hit me with it. Cole sees the net right before it starts to drop over his head with enough time to let out a scream. Oh, this is terrible. No. no. I mean, they haven't technically gotten away with me yet. They only uh, they are in the process on. of kidnapping. You are in a net. Yeah, but like the minute they tell me this shit's going on Fishman Tube, I'm letting it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Do you gotta pay for Fishman Tube? 
No, that's why it's gotta happen, oh, man. Shit. It is free to all ancient wizards. Got it. So may the gods rest cold soul. Then I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> uh, some of us have to take the L on this one. Well, I'll just steal the wizard's Wi-Fi. It's true that while you are in the Valley of the Lost Souls, you do get free Wi-Fi from this evil wizard. So that that's, is that's pretty ill. If only any one of us had a cell phone in the fucking Conan times, that'd be good t- news. <laughs> Wi-Fi in this case stands for Wizard Fizzard. What's Fizzard? I don't know. You have to be a wizard to know. But it ain't cell phone related, at least. That is good news. This is excellent. You can get fish tube on it, apparently. So yeah, dude. Not just fish tube. Soon you're gonna be able to get snide on there too. Gotta fizzard up some fish tube and watch it all happen like magic. So we should probably prepare ourselves for a scuffle, huh? The sad part is Zub is gonna throw all this out, even though it's canonical and true. I know. Well, then why would he throw it out? <laughs> what a bastard! <laughs> yeah. What, a, what an actual piece of garbage, Zub. Is. What a fish out. bastard! Am I right, boys? <laughs> We're so good. No, that's what that's what Cole's gonna have later. Fish bastard. No, those those children are not fish bastards. Bastard. Children. They're all recognized by the fish emperor himself. Cole doesn't strike me as a deadbeat dad. He's gonna do the right thing in this situation. I mean, they're fish people, so chances are I'm not gonna be involved in the actual process. What do you know about fish people? Is he already planning on dipping? <laughs> I thought he was on the up and up. <laughs> who made you the authority on fish people? That's what I want to know. The guy who netted me. Oh, okay. He swore you in. Oh, so like, it's official then. You look trustworthy. You now get to speak for the fish people. Yeah, I'm the Lorax. I speak for the motherfucking fish. <laughs> I think I think Cole needs to make a lore roll about fish people to determine Jesus. how much he knows about No, apparently fish it's free. He doesn't have to make rolls for it. <laughs> Dude, it's a lore me. title. Nobody knows better than Socks that sometimes shit sneaks into your game that you had nothing to do with. So. <laughs> okay, in my defense, I didn't put that there, so... <laughs> <laughs> I can't speak for all situations, just my own. Wow. <laughs> I guess we should try and figure out what everybody wants to do about uh, Snidely getting dragged away in a net. I'm sorry, Cole getting dragged away in a net. We haven't dragged Snidely in a net yet. That's for Patreon-only content. Patreon-only. Patreon, no, that's <laughs> only fans. Sign up for our non-existent Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> I know Ricardo is in the, I mean, if, if Cole is able to get a warning out, Ricardo is getting battle ready, getting a sword and shield out, and if he is able to see Cole getting netted, you know, yeah, assisting so, that like, situation. I mean, you guys are all just wearing, if you're wearing armor, you're just wearing leather, so I'm sure it's fine that you could probably snooze in it. <laughs> it's it's not like hardened, it's, it's not boiled yeah. leather, it's, it's just fresh ape. Gator skin, in my case. Nothing gets me juice like fresh ape, though. All right, so I've got good news and bad news. The good news is initiative defaults to the players unless I spend Doom. The bad news is I'm spending Doom. Look at this motherfucker running away. (laughs) Exactly what I wanted to hear. I love it. No chance whatsoever to act. (laughs) Sorry for failing that perception check, amigo. (laughs) Listen, he didn't notice anybody sneaking up on him because they had already stuck up during somebody else's watch. <laughs> Wait. Oh. I, Pretty classy, admittedly. They got, yeah, no, they, sorry, they got into position on my watch, and unfortunately you had to bear the brunt of that mistake. Yeah. It's pretty chill. All right, so I withdraw a doom from the imaginary pool, and the gentleman with the net, the gentle fish boy with the net is going to take his action to drag the net as far away as he can as the others rush forward to form a defensive line. Okay. In the dim light, you cannot be entirely sure, but you do see... Do you guys mind if I try first? You know, I, I need you to open a line, uh, open a hole in the line so I can get our boy call. That is my plan. Oh, I was so just going to shoot the man with the net. That works too, if you can see him. That'd be sick. That'd be dope. (laughs) All right, you see eight of them. Oh, big Ocho? All right. That, too many. Too many fish. Nah, it's going to be fine. Also, Nala can't get hit or we're fucked. That's true. Okay, so is it Argo? 
Yep. The All right. opening round was a net boy running away, and then the line being. Yeah, killed. yeah, yeah. The line was flavor. That's why I only spent one doom because only the net guy moved. So I assume standing and drawing my bow is going to be my first action, and that leaves me no time to aim. Yep. Yeah, that'll be in place of your uh, your minor action. So, so I do gain a bonus momentum on ranged attacks. So I'll be doing my trick shot. I assume they're going to be either close or has he moved? What range is he at? They're close. Actually, the, if you're targeting the one that's dragging the net, he's at, at medium range. Well, that's ideal. So I don't need to worry about shooting for the horizon. We uh, also the, base momentum, the base of a mountain, so. right? Yeah, yeah. It's not really a mountain, but it's it's, it's steep. It's steep elevated terrain behind your yeah. Back. It's not forest, so that's out. So, I am going to make a ranged attack. Three dice to hit. That's probably fine, right? Fortune, maybe? It's we better have than two dice to hit. Three dice to hit is better than two dice to hit, for sure. Alright, I'll spend a load and folly on him. Low your load. You only get one. Once your net's free, it's, you're up, it's up to you to get out, man. <laughs> I can't keep babysitting people. I've only got so many arrows. You know what? This is important. I'll spend the fucking fortune as well. Hey. Look at right. that. Saving your homie. Oh, does that mean our fortune got reset? Yeah. Eight successes. So that's what? Eight dice worth of damage? What's eight momentum? Eight oh, successes. <laughs> so yeah. you needed one. <laughs> okay. Right. So that's a good number. So you have seven successes beyond what you needed. So yeah, I guess if you want to apply all seven of those to damage, you certainly can. I'll put one momentum in the pool. Okay, so get it started. So a bit, yeah, six extra dice. Oh my god! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! You have fearsome. Uh huh. <laughs> and piercing. And piercing. He so we did, have you. He five did. effects to start with. So we're gonna ignore five points of armor. Well, I hope he's wearing armor. Just because I want to fuck him. Uh, his scales count as armor. Oh, good. Well, eat shit. Except in this instance, I guess. Holy shit. So, that I is... I still have to roll seven more dice? Is that what you're telling me? No, one no, more you, dice. You roll one more combat dice. You got a one, so that's one extra point of damage. So, that is... Thirteen? Thirteen points of damage, ignoring <laughs> their entire armor. I feel like I'm going to be targeted after this. Really now? <laughs> that or they're going to run away? That would kill me. All right, so Octomer springs his feet in the darkness, and he sleeps with one of his quivers propped up next to him. So he gets to his feet, and the quiver is on the ground propped up, and he can just start drawing arrows and just a blur, just raining them down. All of his years needing to respond quickly to border raids by the Picts apparently prepared him for this exact kind of scenario. That's all I can hear in my head. The Picts are coming. So this thing dragging the net, you see one arrow takes it in one of the giant bulbous eyes. Its jaws snap open to scream and another arrow takes it straight in the back of its mouth. The head snaps back, and a third arrow goes into its throat, and it just jellies out, just collapses <laughs> dead. Special thanks to Toys and Things in Danvers, Massachusetts, Reaper Miniatures, Off the Wall Games in Hadley, Massachusetts, Games and Friends in Springfield, Massachusetts, as well as Triple A Games Arena in Wilbraham, Massachusetts. If you enjoy the show, help the podcast grow. Give us a follow on Twitter at Lords Broken. Join the community Discord, and maybe consider offering a small tribute to the old ones on our Ko-Fi. All these links and more can be found in our link tree at linktr.ee forward slash thebrokenlords. Thank you.